there's this intensity of the idea of the synthetic by way of brutalism and postmodern architecture meeting the reverence of what is fundamentally organic and human and those treatments come about through the corrosive way in which stone and mineral is proposed and how these two different practices of creating form and shape and structure meet one another forming a, a, a tension almost. You'll find fire at turmeric um, with the anesthesia series in mind. You'll find milk and honey which has also been glazed and embalmed and fired and this speaks to a particular chapter of my influences moving beyond figuration of the body and into eternal themes of the human experience which look at nourishment which of course look at structure and deconstruction There isn't a linear timeline that my work follows. It's much more of a diaphragm of the human experience funneled across several generations with particular talking points interloping to fundamentally explore an existential experience of shape and form, which I believe to be relevant to our experience of living in the now and the mixed influences of the sacred and of the industrial, of the organic and of the synthetic, of life, birth, death and fire. These themes are all prominent throughout the body of course.